All right, let's see how fast this thing is. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be overnight test driving the Tesla Model 3. I'm super stoked because I've always wanted one of these cars and I called them and I asked, hey, can I come in and test drive a car? And they said, do you want to test drive it for a couple minutes or do you want to test drive it overnight? And I was like, what's the catch here? Are they going to charge me a bunch? No, they straight up give you a Tesla. If you want to test drive this Tesla, they just give it to you let you test drive it for an entire night. So I just picked it up, it's about five o'clock right now, and I got this thing until 10 o'clock in the morning. That right there is probably the biggest selling point already on Teslas. That's the best customer service I've ever received, honestly. Great idea, genius on Tesla, but let's get down to this and see the things that I do like and what I don't like. I'm gonna talk about why you should buy a Tesla and maybe why you shouldn't. Let's do this. So first of all, when you get in the car, this thing is pretty damn sweet. The leather, it's like fake leather. It feels totally amazing. By far like the best feeling of any kind of leather that I've ever felt. It's fake and I guess it's like completely stain proof as well. That's what they told me. Everything else about this car, it's so sleek. There's like no buttons in here. It's super simple and I feel like pretty much anyone is gonna love this car. However, with this thing being so sleek and pretty much driving for itself and all that good stuff, it kind of does take away some of the fun of driving because you're not really driving the car a lot of the times, especially if you're using the cruise control. And it's just so basic, it feels like there's nothing in here. Like most of my other cars, they're pretty fun to drive. I have a Focus ST and an Explore Sport, but those things are really fun because it feels like you're in kind of like a cockpit and this thing kind of just feels like you're sitting in a chair at a desk or something, I don't know. But I still love the car and I'm a huge fan and I'm probably gonna buy one. So financially, a few reasons why I would highly suggest buying a Tesla is you're gonna save a lot of money over time. Sure, you're gonna be paying a higher price than a different car if you're looking to spend under 40,000 for a car. You're gonna spend a little bit more, but here's the thing, you're not paying for gas. You're paying very little for electricity, so all that money that you would be paying towards gas is actually going straight towards the car. And when you're investing into something, it's like owning a house or renting a house. You know, you're not just throwing away your money like as if you were if you were using a gas car or something. So all that money is going at least towards your investment. That way you can get it back in the end or you just pay off your vehicle and keep it for as, for as long as you want. I absolutely love the fact that there's no emissions. I grew up in East LA and when you look at LA from the mountains, all you see is smog. It's just smog everywhere. There's literally a cloud just hanging over Los Angeles. And the fact that if I'm driving around a Tesla, I'm not spending, or I'm not putting any gas or fumes into the air, just better for the environment. And climate change is real, so let's, uh, let's help out as much as we can. If you're a fan of technology and innovation, Tesla is so much farther ahead than any other car, especially like the technology and everything in this car. It's so next level. You can control the entire car with your phone. Everything, like literally everything about this car is on a whole nother level. So if you're a fan of technology like I am, you're gonna love this car. What do you think about the car, Lily? <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm definitely gonna get it. The white on white too. All right, show me how fast this thing is. Wow. Zero to 60 in like no time. I think it's four seconds for this model. Oh, look at those high-tech mirrors. <laughs> How many of you guys clicked on this video and noticed that I was at a gas pump in the thumbnail? Hey, comment down below if you're gonna get a Tesla or if you don't like Teslas. Okay, right off the top of your head, what are some things that you don't like about this car, Lily? Go. 
Uh, I look in the back and I can't, I see out the real rear window, but there's not much. Yeah, it is kind of small. It's kind of small. Um, there is some blind spots, but there's also cameras, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Anything else? It does slow down extremely when you take your foot off the accelerant, but it speeds up so fast, so it's like a give and take. I like it. I mean, this is nice. I'm still going rolling. Oh, one thing I love about the Tesla. I don't know if you guys have been driving newer cars, but when you put it into park and it slightly rolls back or rolls forward, depending on where you are, this will just park you exactly where you are. There's no roll to it at all. And that's positive and negatives with Lily Orion. <laughs> You're welcome. Soon to be a Lily Orion Markley. <laughs> yeah, I am. How many ice cream in the Tesla? No ice cream in the Tesla. I mean, ice cream in the Tesla. <laughs> Thing I do not like, it doesn't do corners on autopilot. I think it does. I think we just don't know how to do it yet. All right, so we are at a stop right now. Got the autopilot on. Lily's gonna let this thing drive itself, right? Am I? Yeah, it's yeah. gonna drive itself. All right, it's a green light, and no one, you're not touching anything. Ooh, and we are driving. No hands, no feet, nothing. Eating ice cream. Eating ice cream, very irresponsibly. <laughs> for diet and safety reasons. I'll hate on my ice cream. Yeah, we're just driving. So we're gonna turn. And the car just... No? Not gonna do it? Nope, I guess we're going straight. Yep. Okay, well, I guess they got some things to work out because this is not exactly as autopilot as we would like it to be. But we are also in the streets and not on the highway. Not really sure what that car is doing because it's not actually moving. It's kind of just chilling there. But for some reason on the screen, it's like swiping back and forth and stuff. But one thing I will say about this car is the directions and everything, everything about this thing, it's equally as smart as an iPhone, if not smarter. So that's a big plus because most cars don't have good technology in their sync systems. Especially in their navigation systems. Yeah, navigation systems suck. You like try to talk to your car and it just comes back with like, this is not working. I fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla? No. Except for this spinning car right here. This car's drunk. It's like this wasted right drunk. now. Yeah, apparently those cars are having... They're, those cars are literally f***ing right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay. Send it one more time. Woo! Going so fast! And it stops. Alright, launch test. Let's see how fast this thing really is. Alright, let's see how fast this thing is. Woo! <laughs> so, that's all I'm going to get to today because I'm not really a big car review guy. I just kind of wanted to give you guys my experience of so far Tesla and I'm pretty sure I am gonna buy this thing. I'm super stoked on it. Love Tesla, love everything about that company. And thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to check out another Tesla video, cause I didn't really get too in depth, but this video should help you guys if you're thinking about buying a Tesla and maybe if you are ready to invest in the one, go get yourself an overnight test drive. That's the coolest thing ever. Peace out guys.